Hey everybody, welcome back to Nico Brothers. So we got the Hellcat on the frame machine and we're gonna knock this thing out. Honestly, we're gonna do what we can without the parts because we still ordered some parts are coming in, but a lot of stuff we don't even know what to order. So the game plan today is just to set it up onto the frame machine, got the pinch welds, take apart the rest of the parts, see what's good, see what's bad, see what else we need to order, and do what we can with that rear quarter panel. So we'll start at the back and don't worry about the front for now kind of thing because there's enough work to do on that side. So yeah, let's go ahead and just get it clamped up broken down taken apart nice and easy we put into ziploc baggies we don't want to lose anything because it's gonna be taken apart for a little bit you know we still got a lot of work ahead of us this thing definitely took a good hit but hey nothing we haven't done before so we'll get it taken apart repaired and put back together but yeah like i said let's go ahead and get it done All right, so there we have it. We kind of pre-pulled it out. Uh, I, I guess it's looking better. Um, so we gotta wait for the quarter panel to come in. Um, they said it'll be here, but so far it's not here. But I'm pretty happy with it. It definitely pulled out. Um, over here, this part is straight. The rebar is good. So the frame rails did not pop out whatsoever, but looks like we're gonna have to replace the skin. This little pocket right here, some of this definitely in there and also the bottom tray so we got a used quarter panel it should have all these parts we're going to see if maybe we're just gonna maybe cut the corner of this quarter quarter panel off so maybe we'll cut it right here and leave the rest and then we'll just bond to it or we can do something else so we're gonna wait for the quarter panel to come in and since we're waiting we might as well take apart the front end so let's go ahead and take off this fender we're gonna take off the radiator support and check out if there's any more hidden damage.
So Ivan is moving right along, doing his magic on the frame machine, getting this thing pulled out. So you kind of want it roughly in the spot where it needs to be. Obviously it's still wrinkled and we need a quarter panel, but that's what I've been doing. I've been hunting for parts and I got me a quarter panel or basically a quarter of a car. Yeah. Oh yeah. Check it out. There it is. That's what we need right there. So just take another one, chop it apart and OEM parts right there. Nice. I mean, this thing comes with the glass all the way to the wiring in the back. We've got some panels that we need, fuse box, pretty sweet little carpets. Nice. Little trim piece for the bumper. Ours is broken as well. So plenty of parts here. Moving right along, got the rear bumper cover. That's good to go. Actually picked up some headlights as well. Man, these things are expensive, but hey, here we go. These are the aftermarket ones, so they change colors and stuff with the rings, but it's gonna look good. That'll actually pop off right there to get the airflow. Got some lights and stuff in there as well, so we'll see how that goes. Um, fenders, old fenders, new fenders. Radiator support come in, came in as well. So then we could do a fitment. We got the rebar. Oh yeah, moving right along. I'm just happy that the engine spins over. Do a couple oil flushes on it. It should be just fine. So that's good. At least people weren't running it at the auction. So that's nice, good to know. Because before if the oil cooler's gone, they're running it, starting it, stopping it with no oil. That's really bad, but plenty of oil came out. So that's good. All right, so the parts came in. That's a really good sign. Next thing I want to do is start cutting up this quarter panel. So I got my safety shoes on because I know you guys really care about my well-being. But let's go ahead and start cutting up this quarter panel. So I figured let's do a pre-cut right here. We're going to open it up. We're going to see inside structure. We're probably going to start drilling out this piece and see what we need from our quarter panel that came in. So let's go straight to grinding. All right, so there we have it. We have good news, we have bad news. Bad news is this has a little bit of damage, so that's probably from where I did it. So weld that up. This, I'm pretty sure we could just bang it out. So that's not too bad, but definitely a little bit more damage than I thought. Here, we took off this section and the taillight pocket. So this side, all this looks really good. So that's a good sign, but we got a little damage right here. So I'm gonna keep going. I'm probably gonna separate this a little bit more. We're gonna probably take off the rebar and cut it up a little bit more and keep cutting into this thing and see what else damage we find.
guys, so after cutting up this corner panel, we found a little bit of hidden damage, which was this guy right here, the inner structure, but I'm pretty sure we can knock it out with a hammer, so beat it back, it should be good to go. But then I started cutting up into the rear section, and I thought it was gonna be like two little pieces, maybe three little pieces, so we replace the top, maybe the back, and be good to go, but it looks like it's one big piece, and it'd be easier to replace it from the middle from what we got from the parts quarter panel. So that's gonna be a lot more work than I thought and a lot more intensive, but we're probably gonna cut it, the quarter panel into two pieces. So we're gonna have a back section and then the quarter panel by itself and then everything should line up a lot easier. It'll be easier to adjust or like that. But that's gonna be a lot of work and unfortunately that's all the time we got for this episode, you guys. So stay tuned till next time where we're gonna actually cut up into this quarter panel a little bit more, cut up into the used quarter panel, hopefully put everything together because a lot of parts came in. We just gotta get straight to work and knock this thing out and get it back on the road. But we appreciate all the comments you guys leave. Leave us a comment down below of the build so far. Um, we also haven't picked a color. I mean, we do wanna do red, but we don't like this burgundy red. I wanna do yellow, Michael says no, but mm, you know, I'm yeah. the one that paints it, so. Too much work. We might do yellow, but leave us a comment down below what color we should go. Uh, we should do the wide body kit, if we just do any more performance parts of this thing, maybe lower this thing, put on airbags, who knows. We'll catch you guys next time.